Hi, I'm Dave Clark and I'm working with the Kingsbridge Dementia Friendly Community on a new series of podcasts about dementia. In the first six episodes, we've heard about businesses, families and the church and we've also learnt about the work of the police when looking for missing people and how hospitals have become more dementia aware. In this podcast, we'll be hearing from Catherine Harrod from the Kingsbridge and Salcombe Chamber of Commerce about their work in supporting businesses specifically in the area of being dementia aware. Benefits for the bottom line and benefits for the community as a whole. My name's Cathy Harrod and I have a business that is licensed trade stock audits. Eight years ago I became the secretary of the Chamber of Commerce and so have spent the last eight years working with members, working with local businesses, organisations, charities and we all work together to try and benefit businesses and the area as a whole. Dementia awareness is something that needs to be improved across the board. There's, there's no doubt about that whatsoever and having experienced it personally, it's quite obvious that people need to up their game because the people who have dementia have the same needs as anybody else. And as a, as a community of businesses, it's not recognised sufficiently that these people need to be catered for in just the same way as everybody else. We're very lucky in the Chamber because our Chairman, Rebecca Weir, is actually um, part of the Kingsbridge Dementia Friendly group, which is superb and it means that it's much easier now to get the message across. We can provide members with information, we can give them direct access to training sessions to improve their awareness and that's incredibly important because what you have to remember as a business is that person coming in with his wife or her husband suffering from dementia, they might be the only person they speak to that day. It's a very um, isolating type of, of, of illness for the families as well as the sufferer. And so it's really important that those people get the attention, get that little extra bit of time that's needed. And it might just be giving them an extra smile, it might be giving them that just that little extra word of encouragement. Something as little as, do you have a shopping list, madam? Just a simple question, but if you can think forward when you're serving that person or dealing with them, it just makes all the difference. As far as the bottom line of the business is concerned, I would have been happier to take my mum into a coffee shop if I knew that when we went into that coffee shop we were going to be treated without any discrimination, without any of the looks of there's something wrong with that woman. If you have a place like that where you feel comfortable, where the person concerned feels comfortable, you go back. You go back again and again and again because what you don't do is you don't repeat the bad experiences, you only repeat the good experiences. But it goes further than that because once you have an awareness of dementia, you actually become more aware of other illnesses, of other issues in the community. So if you're treating every customer in the best way that you possibly can, the chances are outside of work, you continue with that ethos and treat other people in the best way you possibly can. That's got to be beneficial to any community of any size in any area. There's, mm-hmm. there's no two ways about that. What do businesses have to do in order to be trained in dementia awareness and being dementia friendly? Okay, just get in touch with Starpoint Law, speak to them and they will come out and they will speak to you. They will tell you what you need to know. They'll discuss with you what's best for your staff, for your team. Um, they will sort the dates out with you. We'll do all of those things, but take that first step and just get in touch with them. Within the Kingsbridge area, how far are businesses along the road of becoming dementia friendly? Okay, so in Kingsbridge, there is, I believe, a, a higher awareness of dementia and how to be dementia friendly, but there's still a long way to go. There are businesses who have undertaken the training, and that's, that's incredible, but you can always have more businesses. You can always bring more people on board. This is where the Chamber of Commerce can be of a massive benefit because we can spread that word out into businesses in Salcombe, in Modbury, in Dartmouth, the few in in Plymouth who are already very aware of this type of thing anyway. But it is a real positive that we can help spread that message across a good area of the South Hams and that again will give a positive outcome for sufferers and their carers and families. 
do you think there are some sectors of industry and business um, that may be more inclined to become dementia aware? And conversely, you know, are there areas that may be a little bit more sceptical or resistant? Some businesses have a better awareness automatically than others. So, for example, solicitors and the legal types would have a better awareness because they would be automatically dealing with things like power of attorney. Mm. Whereas if you're looking at a shop which might have a higher turnover of staff, perhaps younger staff, they wouldn't necessarily have that awareness. And while they might have the experience or some experience, they wouldn't necessarily know how to cope with somebody coming in. You should think of the basics, hairdressers, uh, barbers, because these people are going to get their hair cut every six weeks, eight weeks, and they're going to go to the same place that they've always been. As a business, you have to be aware of all factors in the area that could make a difference to your business. So as a chamber, it's only right that we should be working with businesses, working with organisations who have more dementia knowledge, to make sure that they can all gel together and provide the, ultimately provide the best outcome for everybody. Are there any obstacles or difficulties that businesses should be aware of? Uh, no, I can't see that there are any obstacles because it's in everybody's best interest to do this. How do people find out more? Okay, so if you want to find out more, you've got various options open to you. And for a start, you could just you could just Google Kingsbridge Dementia Friendly. You can look at the Kingsbridge Salcombe Mobbery Chamber of Commerce website and that will give you information to contact me. Contact me at any point and I'll be more than happy to provide you with the information as to who can help you. Uh, but don't sit there wondering how to do it. Just Google it, contact me, do something, just make the step. Am I optimistic? In, yes, in that it's going to have to happen. I don't think we have a choice. We're in a community in this area where the demographic is largely towards the older people. More older people are being affected by it. We have to do something. People are gonna to have to be dragged kicking and screaming, but there will be those front runners who pull the others along. So in five years time, yes, we should be in a place that's a lot more positive and aware and good for everybody. Thanks very much. Thank you. If you'd like to find out more, please search for Kingsbridge Dementia Friendly Community. This is a How production. Please share and subscribe.